behind the familiar face of the 2019 Porsche Macan lie some significant changes. Porsche took the wraps off the freshened Macan in Shanghai, giving us our first look at the revised SUV, which has new engines, a new infotainment system, and other new features. As before, the Macan is based on the Volkswagen Group's first-generation MLB modular longitudinal architecture. The Macan's front-end changes are basically limited to LED headlights and redesigned front air intakes but the rear gets a new LED taillight strip that stretches across the entire width of the vehicle, enhancing the family resemblance with the new Cayenne and the Panamera. Wheel sizes range up to 21 inches, and there are new paint colors and trim options. The turbo will be differentiated with its own fastness and bumpers that won't be shared with any other version, including the likely GTS variant. Inside, the 7.0-inch infotainment screen has been replaced by a new 11.0-inch touchscreen, with the air vents moving below the screen to make room. The configurable system resembles the Cayennes and Panameras in design and function. The voice control function is said to offer improved responses and software. The optional Sport Chrono package still brings the somewhat pretentious stopwatch that sits atop the dashboard but now also adds a round switch on the steering wheel for selecting driving modes. In the center is the Sport response button as seen in other Porsche models that sharpens the car's reactions immediately. The optional GT Sport steering wheel, which is smaller than before, is borrowed from the 911, and the options list also includes an air ionizer for the esoterically inclined. So far, Porsche has only revealed the base Macan and the mid-range Macan as the base model sticks with its 248 horsepower turbocharged 2.0 liter in line 4 with Porsche saying it will hit 60 mph in a brisk 6.1 seconds. The Macan S is the volume model, and for 2019 it gains a new single turbo 3.0 liter V6, replacing last year's twin turbo V6. The new engine is shared with the Cayenne and Panamera, and it makes 348 horsepower and 354 lbft of torque, both slight increases over the previous V6. Porsche says the Macan S will do 0 to 60 mph in 5.1 seconds. The Macan Turbo has yet to be revealed, but it will likely be fitted with a twin turbo 2.9 liter V6 that should be good for an additional 90 or so horses. We expect a GTS model in between, and the turbo could once again be offered with a performance package for even more power. All engines are mated to a 7-speed PDK dual-clutch automatic transmission with all-wheel drive as standard fitment. Porsche won't offer a plug-in hybrid powered train on the Macan. When the Macan comes to the United States in the summer of 2019, prices for the base model will rise by more than $2,000 to a new base price of $50,950. The refreshed Macan S starts at $59,650, around $4,000 more than the previous year. The revised Macan will continue to face off against the likes of the Audi SQ5, the BMW X3 slash X4, and the Mercedes AMG GLC 43 and GLC 63.